So to find the equipotential lines, we are going to connect this probe to the ground. So let's put this piece here. Let's have another pen. Side. And let's connect this alligator clip here. So one probe is connected to the ground. The other one is free to move to measure. And we will use the pen to have some marks. So from here, I am going to get some value. Let's, for example, get, uh, let's press here. It's 2.2 or 2.5 volt. So let's have this is as we need to find all the points with 2.2 volt, around 2.2 volts. Okay, so let's have a marking here. I hope you can see the mark. So this is one point. We need a better pen. Oh, okay. So let's, I'll just use this one for illustration because seeing that I don't see anything. Okay. So we have here a mark. 2.2 volt. Let's find another 2.2 volt. Let's see here. No, 3.5, 2.1, 2.6, 2.2, 2.2. Yeah, so I think it's here. We put another dot. Let's have here 1.5. Two point two. So let's have another one here. Two point one. Two point two. It's here. It's fine here. So it's almost here. Let's see on this direction. Oh. 2.2 is too far. It's one volt. Okay, so let's go here. Let's have, let's have it here first. 2 .2. 2 .2. Then, after that, we need to connect all these lines, these dots, sorry, with one line, and this is the equipotential line. Equipotential line that we have here. It's basically this line. It's an equipotential line. Then we need to have, I would say, line in the middle, line here. I would say that would be fine, but you might need to do more than the, this, but just for the sake of illustration. If I need to, if I have something here, let's say this is almost 0.2. So you can see this is a 0.2 volt. However, the point to volt here is where it's here. It's almost, it's almost here. So you can see the difference because this is a positive, this is a negative. You can see the echo potential here. The point two here is here. While it's here, it's very close. Okay. Then let's see what is the voltage on this middle point. It's 5.1, almost 5. 
okay so we have the middle point let's go somewhere else still so it's still here still here almost here 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 it's almost here so you can see that this line is an equipotential line this big line it looks like it's an equipotential line between these two electrodes or charges the negative and the positive and if we get something else here let's see here this is 7.5 so let's take 7.5 as our new point let's get 7.5 again here Seven point five. Let's go up. So you can see that this is the 7.5 equipotential line. So this is the equipotential line of 7.5 and this one was 2.2 and this one was 5. So this is basically how to draw the equipotential lines. Okay. And you can do this as well here. Now let's find the direction of electric field. We know that the electric field goes from the positive to the negative and it's usually it's perpendicular to the equipotential surface this one so it's perpendicular to this one and this one and this one and this one and this one so we can make the lines and we say this is the direction but we would like to do it with measurement so for this one we are going to do the following we disconnect this one then we remove this so we have these two probes and from here we need to basically connect these two probes together like this 
have the same distance between both probes and we need to find the maximum voltage difference so if we did this here it's 0.5 okay let's repeat on the same let's let's take one point I would say let's take one point here I'm going to take this one and let's just rotate this one the other one so here 0 0.31 point eight one point two one point four one point four two one point four zero point four one one here so this looks like this is a maximum potential between this point and this one this is a maximum one. So using this maximum potential difference, it means that the direction of the electric field is from here to here, which it makes sense. This is the direction of the electric field, the electric field. Let's try another one, just to let you know, okay? Let's try somewhere else far. Let's have this point. So we have this point, it's fixed, and then we start to read. So here, it's 0 0.18, 0 0.4, 0 0.7, 0 0.77, 0 0.8, 0 0.6, let's return back. 0.75, Okay. It seems that the direction at this one. This is the direction of the electric field at this location. It's a bit with an angle. Okay. We need to do it somewhere else. Let's do it here. Let's take this point as our point. Put one electrode. Go around. So let's here. It's minus one. One. Two eight point three three point three four three two. Okay, let's land back. Then three, 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 four. So it seems that this is the direction of the electric field here. So this is the direction of the electric field. It seems that it might come from here and it's going perpendicular to this line going somewhere so if you were to do this from here to here then basically take this line and start to search for the other one So this is, seems to be here. So we can extend this line. So you see the electric field, we can draw the electric field. So we go from this line, this point, we find the maximum potential difference between these two probes. We make another point, then we start basically to go until we go to the conductor. Because this electric field comes from the inductor, this inductor, to this inductor. So it should go here okay say for example if we are here at this point so basically
So it seems to go here from this one to this one. So it seems that this is going in this direction. So by doing this, you can draw the electric field itself, how it is going. And as we said, it's going from this conductor to this conductor, and it's perpendicular to the equal potential surfaces. So by that, the lab itself finished. If you have any questions, please write it down in the comments. So we have the two conductors, we use silver, we have the equal potential surfaces that we have done them by placing the electrode on one conductor and basically finding all the points with the same potential potential difference between this conductor to the uh, to the other all the points on the line then this is equal potential surface and to get the electric field we basically place these two electrodes with keep this space the same select one point find the maximum potential difference this is the direction of the electric field then go to the new point and find the maximum potential difference then create the another point, then connect all points to have the direction of the electric field. Thank you. I hope you learned something today and you enjoyed the electric field lab. So if you have any questions, please write it in the comments. And if you like it, please like the video and subscribe for the next physics lab. See you later. Thank you.